So let's talk a bit about technique. This is a concept that gets a little bit confusing to folks because the carrier has gutta percha at the end of it. It doesn't flush to the end of the carrier. So how you determine where to set the stopper is a little bit different than what we're used to. So if your working length is 20, it's from the 20 top of, top of the stop on the carrier, not bottom of the stop. And that's because of where the gutta percha is at the, at the carrier end, beyond the carrier. We want gutta percha, the alpha phase gutta percha, to be creating the seal, not the carrier itself. Okay, so it's top of stop, not bottom of stop. Or you could do what I do, probably won't get you in too much trouble in this scenario. You could go 19 millimeters from the bottom of the stopper. The stopper is one millimeter. Okay, so 20 millimeters top of stop, 19 millimeters bottom of stop, either way gets you to the same point. So I just take one millimeter off of my working length and go to the bottom of the stopper. But either way will work. So there are calibration rings at every level of the carrier above the level of the gutta percha at 18, 19, 20, 22, 24, 27, and 29. So in those really long ones, you can use those rings to help you figure out where you want to place this. Let's take a video and show you size verification. Only after everything is done do we size verify. The canal is completely dry and we're size verifying with a 25 in the mesial buckle. So it goes into working length, it's sitting right on our reference point and just a little spin around. and back out. Same thing in the mesial lingual. 